trying to think of other things we want to uh, go over here. Let's see. The Among Us social kind of went a bit sad. I don't know who was there, but we, Did we ended up die? switching. No, we couldn't get the servers to work. Oh. Like we tried in all all the places, so we ended up moving over to Pictionary, which was a lot of fun as usual, but it was a bit sad. I have um, the there's an open source version of that Pictionary thing, which I still it's on my list. We're gonna get that set up in uh, Fedora OpenShift at some point. Um, maybe with a Fedora word list, but not the Fedora word list. That's all obscure Fedora acronyms and Fedora folks, because uh, we, we got to we got to do a little bit better. Um, someone notes that the badge is not working in the link. Um, if you get an error message, that means badges is working. Um, I, I'm sorry, we're, we're working on that. Um, I think Paul might have had a long term issue just logging in oh, yeah. the badges if i remember All right. correctly if you if but... you are logged in and you click on it twice it should tell you you have the badge already um cool so there's a couple other things just a reminder we have the new fedora logo on some items in the hello tux store website here so you can get some things, some shirts, and some polos, oh, yeah. sweaters. There's a code, but with a new logo. There's a code, Fedora Five, right? Um, yeah, I definitely that, forgot to use that. If you use that code, you will get a discount. Um, so uh, you should. And there's That's a, a Fedora contributor oh, discount. So you know, it's secret. Um, t t tell your friends, but uh, not your friends' friends. And there's also uh, a cool stuff store. Um, we're not sure how, how well that's working or not yet. So bear with us there. It seems to be working for some folks, but not others. So I can't, oh, it's making me log in right now and I don't want to, but the link is on the one that Ben has pinned here. So, and we're working on getting some t-shirts into that cool stuff store. So um, hopefully have that in there by like January, February. Probably, unfortunately, not Troy's amazing Hawaiian shirts. There is a fedora design, but the logistics of us doing that are going to be too hard. But if you would like those to happen, you should um, take your billions of dollars to Troy and say, here, uh, take my money. Um, he, he's starting a, an independent little business selling awesome fedora, uh, or not fedora, just in general, Linux themed Hawaiian shirts that are really high quality and very kind of awesome. Um, so you should look for those and lobby him to produce the Fedora version. Uh, They're very nerdy. I'll say that. <laughs> what are you, Zazzle linking? Oh, yeah. Action You're on mute, thought, ben. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you need Ben to do some stuff for you, there's a shirt you can buy. Action Ben Gotten. I like how the uh, you are muted pop up blocks the mute button. So you can't unmute yourself. <laughs> That's real helpful. So, yeah. And I, this is my 10 years of Fedora shirt that I wear, wear for my official Fedora talks. It's wearing out. So I, we definitely need to do another one of those things soon. I think we should get like those um, sport coats, like, but with a Fedora pattern, because then you can, you know, because you're a distinguished engineer. And so uh, you, know, I, you I really believe, need the... I believe that needs to be full tails, actually, with that. Oh, um, okay. I, I will ship Not that I would that ever happen. wear that, so don't buy me that, please. <laughs> <laughs> so as far as the release party went with attendance and stuff like that, we did break our registration record from the F34 release party, which is very exciting. But we had a reduction in our turnout percentage. So I was trying to kind of think about this with Ben, and we were like, could be some virtual fatigue, could be that we didn't have a ton of super big changes in this one. Oh, Matthew, your face is frozen on like a grumpy face for me. <laughs> Any th I mean, so we'll see how that turns out um, at our next release party. See if the engagement kind of continues to stay the same or goes up or or down or whatever it might be. Also, it's the weekend, so. All right, is Matthew frozen for other people? Oh, He's back. Okay, that was oh, actually my network that time. That one was totally okay. my network to blame. Uh, so. 
<laughs> I was wondering, you were um, frozen for me on like a very frowny face. Mm, I was frowny about yeah. the low attendance. <laughs> yes. Uh, I mean, still we had good attendance overall. It was just about 50% of registrations and we were at like almost 600 registrations. So we still had tons of people show up, but um, not quite that turnout rate of like 80% that we had for Nest or the last release party. So yeah. curious to see what that's all about. I have to to watch the numbers next time too and see how that goes. But uh, we're a victim of our own success. Oh, you both talked at the same time. I didn't. I hear said you. we're a victim of our own success. I was just maybe some survey questions for Fedora surveys in general. Like you know, it it could eventually be that virtual meeting fatigue setting in. Uh, it may also just be you know holidays and whatever. This is this time of year might not be as good for this kind of thing as the other time of right. year. So. I was thinking too, we could maybe, since we're getting, you know, this is, we're getting these kind of under our belt, getting a little bit easier to do them. We could start promoting individual like ideas or uh, sessions rather. So like in advance being like, hey, we're gonna have this topic or that topic, which I didn't have the capacity to do, yeah. but like oh. if I'm building it in for next time, we probably could. Hey, anybody interested in planning events? You folks who are still around at this point here, you've got some interest, right? Uh, <laughs> Marie could use some help with this next time. Like, uh, yeah, there's because, always more to do. There's yeah, always more. Um, there's plenty of room to uh, help us make the next one of these even better. Uh, Definitely. I'm um, trying to think if there's any other things we want to mention. There's some surveys going on the core OS survey and the F35 release. Retrospective, also elections are open. <laughs> Action BCAT and Delta Marie. See, Ben helps me all the time already though. So I don't know if we can actually do that any more than it happens currently. <laughs> I could drink more coffee. Uh, that's, that's fair. I'm only like this look... much jitter right now. I could be like here. So I well, do see in our polls that um, people have chosen element matrix as the preferred way to do chat. And I think in the past, Telegram has won that. So I'd like to say that's because we've officially adopted element. That's kind of exciting. It has 23 votes over uh, 13 for IRC and nine for Telegram. Which of the people here, that's a pretty high turnout. So uh, did we not advertise this on Telegram? Is that what happened? <laughs> we definitely advertised this on Telegram. <laughs> um, but hey, I think now that we've adopted it, you know, people are going to embrace it more as part of our own culture. So that's cool. Yeah. And Michelle notes, um, between Matrix and Discourse, our next generation platforms are all fully open source. We did not end up going to Slack and I don't know, there's not even, actually Discourse is a nice story because it is really like, I think winning the um, next generation internet forum thing as an all completely open source um, platform. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm happy to support them more. Um, it would be nice if uh, open source things were beating Slack at this point, but um, yeah. All right, so we have seven Ben Cottons here. I think it's but... a record, isn't it? <laughs> what? Maybe. What, are we ben... looking at a record for Ben Cottons? I'm looking at the polls. Uh, yeah, how oh, familiar I see. are you with the change process? Um, but I'm glad to see that eight, the, the majority get the basic idea. But then the next one is, I don't really know anything about it. So probably still do more with that. Um, Let's see if there's any other stuff here to see. Uh, Aoife didn't indeed swear 9,000 plus times, but actually I think I'm like 33 or 32. <laughs> um, okay, it was a tie for why did people join the release party to hang out with friends or to knowledge build? Both got 30 votes. Yeah, I guess, um, did people feel like their knowledge was built would be a good follow-up question for this. Um, Overwhelmingly, people are using GNOME. Coffee is the winner there. 
I'm going to create a poll. Dan. Uh, did you check out your your um, wallpaper poll here, Matthew? No, tell me about the wallpaper poll while okay. I create this new poll. <laughs> Very good. Uh, you have 34 votes for I wouldn't buy it, but I'd love it as swag, followed by at any price. I mean, I think we all want, we all want swag, free swag. Okay. All right. That's pretty much it for the polls. Hey, here comes my one first new poll. Oh. New, new poll. One? Everybody do the new poll. And. I just did it. All right. Anything else? Matthew or Ben that you want to add? Go team. Yeah, go Ooh, team. F36. <laughs> change yes. proposal deadlines are coming up. You have about six weeks if you require infrastructure changes or a mass rebuild or it's a system wide change. So, and they start are thinking about it. November, December release a week. So they only count for half. So it's basically, yeah. it, it, it's basically tomorrow, everybody. Hurry up. <laughs> Awesome. Oh, Neil says, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye, everybody. That's it. See you online. Thank you, everyone. Bye.